Way back in 1989, Sunoco gas stations were giving out Ghostbusters 2 collector glasses. Hey everybody, Jason here of GhostbustersNews.com with another retro review for you today. And yes, we are taking a look at the entire line of Ghostbusters 2 collector glasses. Now before I dive too deep into those glasses today, uh, as always, if you'd like to check out our retro reviews 72 hours early before anybody else does, be sure to sign up to the Ghostbusters News Patreon page. We've got that link right down below in the description. Click it, sign up for it, and help out Ghostbusters News in the process. And if you can't become a patron, that's totally cool. A, uh, a like right down below uh, would certainly mean a lot to us. Okay, so back to the topic at hand. Back in 1989, Sunoco? Sunoco. I, I don't really know how you say it. Uh, they had a line of Ghostbusters 2 glasses. And as you can see from this old school advertisement right here, they look pretty cool. There were six in total you could collect. And the ad even urged you to collect all six before they disappear. Also, the ad mentions that the glasses were one per customer with a minimum 25 liter fill up. Now I'm going to be real with you guys, uh, in my collection, like around my house, I probably have like 50 of these glasses. Uh, so my parents must have been buying a whole heck of a lot of gasoline back in 1989. Now speaking of these advertisements, every time you actually got one of the glasses, inside you would find one of these, obviously advertising the other glasses in the line. Now onto the glasses, each and every one included a no ghost logo from Ghostbusters 2 on one side. We've got the iconic logo there, Ghostbusters 2 written below, with a copyright of 1989, once again, Columbia Pictures Industries. And on the other side, of course, you're going to find the unique designs on each one of the six glasses. And I think the first one we need to take a look at is my personal favorite, the Ecto-1A. We've got the Ecto-1A license plate on the back, and I don't know about you, but with the animation style that's present here, it makes me think it was ripped right out of an episode of the real Ghostbusters. And speaking of the real Ghostbusters, it was crazy popular at the time, therefore Slimer was being shoved down our throats also at the time, so of course we got two different Slimer glasses as well. The first one showcasing Slimer here, just smiling, having a good time, while the one on the right is of course that classic scene from Ghostbusters 2 where he's driving the bus and he picks up Lewis Tully. Keep fit, stay sharp, make good decisions. And being that these glasses are based around Ghostbusters 2, that means we're not going to see a Stay Puft Marshmallow Man glass. But, what's even a bigger crime is the fact that there is not a Vigo the Carpathian glass. I would have loved that. But, we still do get two unique ghosts from Ghostbusters 2 immortalized in this series, and that is, of course, Tony and Nunzio Scaleri. And I've always loved the artwork used on these. The same art was featured in the Ghostbusters 2 Topps trading cards. And I love the fact that Nunzio Scaleri is coming out of the Titanic. Yeah, it's not accurate to the character or the movie whatsoever, but who cares? And finally, you may be wondering, what about a Bill Murray or a Dan Aykroyd glass? Well, we do get a Ghostbuster glass, but we never really see the face. The Ghostbuster feature does resemble real Ghostbusters Peter Venkman, but in a red suit. And the name of the glass is Six Eyes, and that is exactly the amount of eyes the ghost has that he's capturing. Which means he's capturing the theater ghost, as featured in the Flip City montage from Ghostbusters 2. So guys, hope you enjoyed this retro review as we took a look back at the gas station exclusive Ghostbusters 2 glasses all the way back from 1989. I thought maybe this week we'd mix up a bit, not really take a look at an action figure or anything like that. Uh, if you guys actually enjoyed this video, uh, maybe down the road we'll take a look at some other rare glasses. This one here, one of the early Ghostbuster glass sets, uh, all the way back from 1985 this one was released. But uh, as always there, I'm up for reviewing pretty much almost anything and everything as part of these retro reviews. If you have any ideas or any requests of what you'd like us to take a, a look at, uh, be sure to let me know right down below in the comment section. And as a reminder, as always, if you'd like to check out these retro reviews 72 hours early, yes, I know I've already mentioned it, be sure to check out our Patreon page, link right down below in the description. That's all I got for you here today, and I'll see you right back here next time on Ghostbusters News. There's something strange coming out to play, and I'm noticing effects of a night and day. So I'm picking up the phone, they were down away, heard a thing to pray to know. Go!
Oh, snow and hand arms reaching out of a store so to militarize on some of its board though just got a call in an ecto cool grab your tools it's time to fight soul this proton charge you go run you extra up the storage of the beast from your project checkbook you might want a warranty in case it happens down the line everybody's going down in time remember